Hope you're ready for a new challenge today. I think it's best to start at once with a puzzle in which you are to find a checkmate in two moves that white makes on black. So good luck! From a material point of view, this position is equal. Both players have 5 pawns each, a bishop, a knight and a rook too. But as you all know, the material isn't always everything that counts, because it is very often all about performing tactical combinations that can lead to a checkmate. It has many times happened that players who are under with pieces or even with a queen have checkmated the opponents, who of course suffers a shock. So, this is a lot about the strategic placement of one's pieces. Take a look at this puzzle. Our three pieces all play an important role here, and it is simply about taking advantage of the position. The black king must have some sort of thoughts of escaping any checks since he has moved up to g7, but as this goes, he is blocked by the knight. As the knight guards h6, we can take this opportunity to place the bishop there with a check. Well, the king can't, as I said, run to f6 and not to f8 either, but has to choose either g8 or h8. And let me just reveal that it doesn't really matter which of the squares he chooses, because we checkmate him anyway with rook to e8, checkmate. Well, I understand that this puzzle could have been easy for some of you, which of course is great because it just shows how much you have developed as chess players. But for all of you who didn't really solve the puzzle, let me just say that you don't have to worry, since I will be here every week to guide you in mastering the art of chess.